Hey hey, welcome, my name is Jules and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, horizontal scroll snap effect into your Figma prototype. And the cool thing about this is that you don't have to, I mean it doesn't matter where you have scrolled the page or the feed, it will still work as you can see. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Figma and here I have some just a generic uh, application which is a news feed that has elements vertically and horizontally and on the right I have the prototype running and uh, currently it does not have any horizontal scrolling as you can see so the easiest way to get a horizontal scroll is to just uh, go into the containing uh, frame that contains your items as you can see here. So select the frame and then go into the prototype tab and choose horizontal scrolling and immediately you will be able to scroll but you won't have the snapping effect as you can see but if this uh, basic scrolling is enough for you this is all you need to do to enable that. But here we, we are here for the snapping effect so in order to do that, you have to um, do the following. So I'm just gonna hide the overflow items like so. And let's go into the latest carousel. That's what I'm calling this, this thing here. And we need to create a frame inside here, which is going to be just a, like a trigger zone for the uh, touch event so we're gonna create the frame here and we're not going to create it on top of this because otherwise it will include these items automatically inside the frame and we do not we don't want anything in the frame we just want it empty in here so let's move it actually let's just move it in here so it's it's inside the latest carousel element and then let's Whoop, wrong case, no. Now we work. Now it's working, okay. So I'm just gonna scale it to be the size of the uh, cards here and remove the background color. And then I'm going to name it something like uh, uh, swipe. I can't see my keyboard here. Just a sec. Swipe next area, like so. And then I'm going to duplicate it, like so. And I'm going to call this swipe uh, previous. Previous. Os. No. Os area. Thank you. So now that we have these two created. We can move on and uh, duplicate the whole frame, like so. And then we want to go into the items here, and we want to shift them into the next like state, where it's going to be snapping, basically, like so. And let's see if it's matching the screen margins, yeah it is, like so, and then we're just gonna repeat this part for all the remaining cards basically. Uh, the next one here, we go here and oh actually just here, and then shift it over to the next one. And here you probably don't want to do this before your feed like content is final because know that you are duplicating each, each each time now if you have to do changes to the feed you have to do it in uh, into each one of these so you want to make sure that the feed is uh, finalized before you start doing this uh, like advanced prototyping and probably go with just the 
horizontal scrolling. Oh, I still have that enabled. Also, disable the horizontal scroll effect from the container uh, frame because that is going to f up otherwise. Horizontal container, no scrolling. Sorry about this, I might just speed it up a little bit for you. You remember to disable this before you start doing the duplication. Okay, now we're back to normal. And I still need to shift this. So, items, move it over, like so, and go back, like so. And then I believe this is the last one. Items, you like this. It's within the margins, yes. Now we want to go in here, select the swipe next area, and go to the prototype tab, and then connect it to the next one. And then instead of selecting in the interaction uh, panel, in, instead of on tab, we choose on drag. And then the animation will be push, and we will push it to the left, like so. And this is the important part. You have to enable the smart animate matching layers because otherwise it's not going to work. So actually the first step should be working now. Let's see. If I drag, yeah, it's moving. So now we just have to repeat it, re repeat it to all the other ones. So let's go here and select next. Swipe next, drag it here and it should be, should have all the same uh, settings automatically because it remembers the previous applied uh, transition. Now just go to the next, on the next uh, frame, and then just quickly repeat this process until you're in the, uh, at the end. And then here in the last one, now we want to do the same but for the previous uh, swipe previous area. So we, <coughs> so we. Uh, Connect it to the previous screen, obviously, and instead of on tab, it's on drag. And the direction is going to be to the right. So, like this, and enable the smart animation or smart animate feature. Now we just have to do the same for the remaining uh, previous swipe areas on all of these. Okay, so um, um, I'm done here. I I didn't notice that these uh, also had in, in their next swipe area had also the on tab interaction still enabled. So I just quickly swapped those. But we should be done here. Let's see. Let's go into the prototype and swipe one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, cool. And the other way. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So, it's working. And it was really simple to set up, and it really uh, elevates your prototypes in a way that, like, it actually feels like a real, real application. And you see this effect in, like, a lot of high end apps. So now you can bring that feature into your prototypes directly. And that's it. We're done here. It really is a, a simple process to get this awesome effect into your Figma prototypes. Uh, and I will be leaving this uh, project link in the des description so you can go check out uh, all the details on your own uh, from there. And I hope you really learned something useful from this tutorial. And if you like this content, please leave a like below. And if you want, don't want to miss any future tutorials, please subscribe. And also leave your feedback in the comments below. But for now, goodbye and see you next time.